well, this is going to be an interesting story to tell, but, uh, to put it short, um, we're going to be doing some of the scenarios in Armor and Gideon's Blade again, um, and one in Dragon Blood, because, uh, I was not fast on the highlighting and lost some scenarios due to Twitch's policy of 14 days for non-prime or partner users. So after 14 days they delete the VOD and it's gone forever. So I'm gonna have to give thanks to Ramsrock39 of course. He was able to, I guess, speedrun all the way through this. Originally he speedrun through the whole campaign, and then he speedrun to this, I guess, again. So I'm gonna give big thanks to Ramsrock39 for providing me a save. I didn't ask for him to get, I was just asking him if he could provide me a save at this point, which he didn't have, he just speedrun it for me. So I like to give a big thanks to Ramsrock. And then, yeah, we're gonna continue where we have lost uh, videos, of course. So, hopefully, you know. Hopefully, I'm just gonna speed run through this, because he said. Let's see what he said, actually, just in case. So, Gallo's got all of his buffs from the scenario expert, Earth Wisdom, TP, DD, Slow, Blind, and Tactics, with one slot left for me to try and get logistics and see. Ramsrock couldn't. And then Catherine didn't get buffed because there's no reason to, and then Zeron has a blade. Which, you know, makes sense. So we're gonna be continuing after Maker of Sorrows. Um, I mean, that's at the point of where I lost some videos because I didn't highlight them. I wasn't aware of what date they were going to get deleted, so when I got to actually highlighting them, I was like, Sh well, shit, gotta, gotta do some, <laughs> gotta do some, uh, scenarios over again, so, let's continue on. Heroes from the Confluxes tell us the Elemental Gods have sent them to us. So together, we might destroy Lucifer Cregan and his quest to set the world on fire. Catherine trusts these new allies. I am not as giving. However, we do not have a choice, as support for the war wanes and our forces dwindle. If these elemental heroes are to be our allies, they will prove themselves in this forthcoming battle. Under my command. Alright. Standing on the edge of the Great Lake, you, the King of Enroth, contemplate the situation. Your army stands on the western shores, looking out over the smoldering fields of the UFOL controlled regions to the east. Yours and General Kendall's forces have arrived recently on a mission of great importance. Here you have met with your new allies from the elemental conflicts to cut off Kriegan supply routes that pushed the UFOL army back from the wrath at you fall border right next right into Catherine and the Gaelic troops. Successful the Cregans must from you fall will be forced to wage a defensive war. We must keep this alliance together for Wrath and support is growing increasingly difficult to maintain. When Catherine herself is facing increasing pressure to end this conflict quickly. It is obvious those fools truly have no idea of the gravity of consequences of failure. Should you be ineffective in stopping Lucifer is a mad campaign of terror and destruction. Not just Arathia will suffer his wrath, but all of Antagorich. Still can't say that name for that me. Perhaps even your beloved Enroth may fall under the flames of this accursed demon king. Shuddering in that dark thought, you compose yourself, strengthen your tunic, and stride back to your officers. Mounting your powerful Arathian bread stallion, you shot. Order to move out. There's a war to be waged, a world to be won. So, yes. Oh, okay, so this is not the one I was thinking of. Which is fine. Yeah. 
got angels already as well. Monks go. No, this one. Sorry, zealots. See what does he have? Yeah, okay. So that's just a standard, standard nonsense. Could upgrade those guys. I think we'll just travel north. If I recall correctly, they have a town on the coast. It's almost all done already. Letter arrived in your encampment last night from Catherine. You lit up like a child at solstice time. The note smelled of many things, the most important being her special perfume. One you loved so much for her to wear. 
My dearest Roland, I write to you to bring you bad news. My spies have reported the creaking hero called Zeron is a chief of Thinkable. He has built Armageddon's blade. Be warned, for I hear he is sending a great force to your position. Come back safe to me and give my best to General Kimball. Now you will succeed, for I have faith in you both. This is definitely not the cool one. Wait, there was another two way there. I was not aware that there was another two way. <laughs> something new I learned about this one. There's another model of here. Oof. Actually, I can do this now. I don't have enough gems. It's just a bad one. Oh, I should probably just give you your army straight up. Candle diamonds. Doesn't say. Why is there three stables around here, wasn't there? Is this champions? No. Oh, of course, it's sitting with other song off. Let's get another ten. Yeah, there's a stables there. is coming, which is okay.
Oh, sorry about that. I was talking to my brother. Mm -hmm. What is this? Oh, is that? That's annoying. There we go, that's better. Get to the marksman, of course. Let's get over there. Before Red comes killing everything. Time to tarry. Oh, but I'll get that. Get that cape of velocity. Message came in late last night that some scouts located in an island east of Falaron City. That was unapproachable. A glare of gold could be seen on its shores. Perhaps this is where the dreaded Raiden pirate treasure shroves are kept. The trouble is how does one get to the island? There must be some way. There are tunnel in the mouth. Marksman, most likely. Got a cascade, and they don't have a freeze, though. They have slow, they do. Incredible. So, what I was waiting on you to do was this. I have a very annoying town. Dealing with for name. Just the rush. Here to wait. Take out everything. 
I should first figure out this tavern up. Um, just get this guy here first. General Kendall prepares to address his troops for the morning that a farmer was brought before him. This farmer tells the noble general, the encroachment by these wicked devil kin, and how he feels they are the ones responsible for stealing his cattle. General Kendall, being the diplomat that he is, made the farmer feel that he personally was going to see that this man's cattle was returned to revenge. The farmer leaves, contented and assured. As he knows that Morgan Kendall is a man of his word. How's that work? Oh, because the tires probably attack our changes. Okay. Smart tires, smart. Didn't have an order of fire here? Free 
That's rough. That is rough indeed. I don't have an order of fire there either. No, they did. Wait, that's the wrong town. Oh. after the guys over here, I guess. Or not. <laughs> Ooh, that's an army. Wow, that is an army, indeed. I mean, that's a hundred- oh my. Okay. Also not on my side. Which is bad. All these are gone. Can't really do anything about them. Uh, 
Saan? Lost most of their army and I still have mine, so this will be over swiftly. If I recall correctly, there's probably another town. The young centaur messenger arrives this morning just after breakfast was being cleared up, presenting you a message from Gilu or Jalu. The thing the young scout and the centaur trots off to return to his master. You open the letter and read its contents. My lord and husband and my queen, I have sent Chris Leg here with this message to report on our status. Our guerrilla actions are proceeding well, and the enemy is feeling the sting of loss due to our attacks. He has been pointing. Back steadily, but I have lost a great many men doing it. I've been interrog are integrating the troops from our new allies and found them to be very effective. They fight hard and well. You would do well to trust them, for they are loyal and fierce. Good fortune be with you, my lord. May the light always shine upon thee. Jalu, Captain of the Forest Guard. Right. 
I'm gonna get there in time. Oh, no. There's their other town. Oh, they only have four tier, that's funny. Let's just discard you for now. That's pretty accurate. I don't think any of them have what I want. Good. I'll say each. Just a fine now. Hey, that's not nice. Images and sounds swirl through your mind as you sleep. Terrible images brought forth from your damaged soul, which cries out for peace of mind. You have been held captive for nearly seven years, and the torture inflicted upon you is unimaginable. Now you suffer the ill effects of those seven years. The dream is the same every time. You are locked in a cell. The walls made of some dank, cool gray stone. A single door that only address. You are chained to a bed, your flesh crawling with bugs of some sort, and forced to listen to the screams of the tortured souls that accompany you in your road to hell. Sicking sounds of a whip cracking on flesh tear at your very being if you snap and leave the lashes victims. You struggle to be free of this terrible nightmare where you such right down from the sounds of suffering continue. Your door is open, and several grotesque figures enter the cell, unchain you and drag you near a useless body out into a courtyard. There you are placed in the stocks and have your skin slowly peeled away. You try desperately not to cry out, you can only hold out for so long. While you are being flayed alive, you catch a glimpse of the demon's lords, all of who are laughing at the helpless king. You grit your teeth. The pain and hold back tears that want to flow heavily. After finishing their fun, they throw you back in your cell, heal with the wounds, but not relieve the pain. Unable to move from the sheer agony of your injuries, you simply lie there, writhing in a near fetal position. Lifting your head from the cold stone floor, you peer through eyes swollen shut from fists, and you see the spectral face of your twisted brother laughing at you. Archibald's dream ghost points at you and laughs a chilling laugh, one that angers you beyond your knowledge. You have never been so helpless as then. Not since your banishment during the succession wars have you felt so alone. You want to die, to simply cease to exist, but the devils come again and whisk you away to be beaten once more. As you reach for your arms, your eyes shoot open and drill deeper into your bedding. This is not the first night that this nightmare has visited you. It's the first time in many weeks. You must find a way to quiet these inner demons, something that chase away the nightmares once and for all. Let's see, there's something else. Stand on top of a small rise and look out over the great lake, eyes filled with tears. Today is the 16th anniversary of your son and life's birth. You are, here you are, far away fighting the war. The pain of loss and the grief of missing your son fuels your depression and more. But with the nightmares returning and now this, life does not seem very fair. In the far off land, your son is becoming a man. While you stay here to battle these cursed demons once more, you hope this time will be the last. You had have had enough of war. No, they have no farm. No, they don't. Keep your soil. Okay. Okay. 
Congratulations on your enemies have been defeated, victory is yours.